Klaus could have been played by a different actor? Which cast member got the role without even auditioning for it? And which two lead actors' on-set chemistry spilled over into real life? Today, we're talking about all the juicy secrets on how the Umbrella Academy cast got their roles. Keep watching until the end of the video to get the chance to participate in our giveaway. Emmy Raver Lampman as Allison Emmy is a woman of all sorts of talents. The actress has been part of Broadway for years now, playing roles in legendary musicals like Hamilton and Wicked. After that experience, is there anything she can't handle? Very unlikely. For The Umbrella, the actress recorded a self-tape and was given several scenes from the original script to act out. I had to do the very first scene in the pilot when Vanya walks into the house and I greet her. The actress revealed this scene was initially way longer and even included sibling banter with Diego. Raver Lampman also did the moon scene, where she is sitting in the windowsill with Luther from later in the season, which again was cut to a few minutes in the final version. So why did Emmy think she totally blew her audition? The actress revealed she spent the next four and a half months hearing nothing back from the casting directors but cricket sounds. The actress had never had any major TV role before and was absolutely unfamiliar with the original comics the series is based on. When I was like, I'm gonna try TV and film, I thought I would start with an indie, like Lady Bird or something. There's no stunts, no green screen special effects, and then in this ridiculous show, there's all of that. The actress even joked saying that she had to adjust to not knowing the ending of the story and not hearing applause after every scene. Did you finish your tape? Was I bad? Did I <laughs> yeah, why aren't they clapping? What? Hello? Is anyone out there? <laughs> now stay tuned to see how 14-year-old Aiden Gallagher prepared for the role of a 58-year-old time traveler. David Castaneda as Diego David might have had the funniest audition story. The guy is a literal representation of what happens when you get things when you least expect them. The actor had no intention of becoming a sensation and had no clue how competitive the role was. I had no idea about the comic book or anything, I was just trying to get my next job. It took a lot of improv work from Castaneda and his self-tapes to prove he was totally fit for the role. All while he was across the ocean working on a different project. I would get just notes from this random computer. I had no idea who I was talking to. It was like the movie Her. I mean, how would you feel if you were asked to confess your love to a laptop screen? Acting in a nutshell. David flew to LA right after he was done in Bulgaria, only to find out he got the role without even testing for it. So I was like, whoa, cool, what is it? It was great to not know the weight that it had. To understand how to interpret his character, Castaneda did his research on behavioral patterns of kids coming from foster homes and implemented that attachment style when portraying Diego. The actor clearly had no idea what he had gotten himself into when he heard that for the next seven months, he would have to have constant martial arts training. It was insane, like these these 19 year old and men and women, and I would get my ass whooped by every single one of them. Fun fact, the iconic dance bit at the end of episode one was completely improvised by the cast and David might have unintentionally made an allusion to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The actor revealed that his dance routine was totally inspired by Will Smith's moves. Can you spot the resemblance? Comment below! Don't click out just yet or you'll miss hearing how much Robert Sheehan relates to Klaus. Aiden Gallagher as five. Quick question, how does a teen land the role of a 58-year-old broody, coffee-addicted time traveler? I'll tell you how. If Aiden seems unrealistically mature and suitable for the role, that's because he totally is. The 14-year-old actor revealed, I've never felt exactly my age or in the right place. Among the leads, the teen actor was the last one to audition for his role, and boy did he come prepared. I wanted to do justice to the graphic novels, so one of the first things that I looked at was his posture and the trauma contributed via the apocalypse. I wanted to make sure that I got his PTSD correct. Damn, he really does not act 14. The kid got his whole image, posture, manners, and looks all spot on for his role. Not only did he show up in a suit, Aiden actually took his headshots impersonating what he thought 5 would be like. Does Gallagher see into the future in real life too? Because he absolutely foreshadowed his character's look. I auditioned with a scene in the series where number 5 and Luther are in a car and we're having a very serious conversation. It was this really dramatic scene that changed as the series progressed. No wonder the actor nailed his audition. The lead star has been a big fan of the comic world, unlike his co-stars, no shade. Aiden has read the Umbrella Academy graphic novels way before his audition and couldn't believe it when he got the role. Now Robert Sheehan as Klaus. Can you imagine anyone else but Robert in the role of Klaus? I bet not. The actor absolutely transformed the series with his interpretation, acting, and dark humor. 
clearly the most interesting to look at. The actor revealed that he only did a tape in London, just fooling around, and from then on it was more of a conversation with the showrunners on where they wanted to take him in the next couple of months. Seemed like something that I'd never seen or heard of before, so I thought that would be a very cool journey to go on. Unlike his co-stars, Rob took a sweet minute to ponder whether he thought the role was worthy enough for him to take on. They come to you with one episode of a script. One! On the basis of that, you have to make a decision that could affect the next five years of your life. It's completely bonkers. There's not enough months in the year to do everything that you want. And it sounded so wonderfully unique and bonkers that I went, yeah, I'm up for that. No regrets after all. Seeing the first couple of episodes of his character coming to life, Sheehan thought he had absolutely overdone it and messed it up. Absolutely honest with you, the first couple of episodes I'm like, ooh, I think I'm doing too much. The good thing is the Umbrella's producers put the creative freedom in the hands of the cast and allowed Sheehan to mold his character as he wanted while filming. In fact, the Hitler joke from the first episode was made up by Robert on the spot and kept in the final cut. I'd be like, Dad, could you just stop playing tennis with Hitler for a moment and take a quick call? In real life, though, Robert couldn't name a single thing he would want to have in common with Klaus. What irony! Stay tuned to see which cast member was not even told what project he was auditioning for. Tom Hopper as Luther, a walking thirst trap and the man whose arms have a separate Insta account. On a serious note though, Tom is the one who did the most chemistry reads. Stay tuned to hear why. Having starred as Dick and Tarly in the international sensation Game of Thrones, Tom wanted to try something different and try a never existing before superhero. Apparently Hopper's filmography spoke for himself. The actor was the first one to join the production and was basically cast via a Skype talk from the UK. When I signed for the umbrella, it was the perfect thing for me. I loved the idea of a superhero, and I wanted a superhero that has depth in terms of a character. The lead actor was actually looking for something in this time period that wouldn't require an elaborate costume. What a bummer it was when Tom found out he had to wear what looks like a 200-pound costume at all times for his new role. Since the storyline of Allison and Luther was essential for the plot development, the pressure to cast the right candidate was on. Tom recalls saying, A lot of the casting process is about who we are as people, our personalities. I did a bunch of chemistry reads with some early Allison choices and potential hires. But the moment Emmy Lampman joined the cast, the two instantly hit it off. Tom could not hide their natural chemistry in an interview when he was asked which of the cast members he felt the strongest bond to. Oh, well, this one. <laughs> um. The two are besties for life. The casting directors would never have found a better fit. Ellen Page as Vanya. Did Ellen even have an audition? In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Ellen shared some details, saying, I've been wanting to do TV and experience living with the character for so long, and then I got lucky that the showrunner Steve Blackman was interested in me being part of this. It seems like the Academy's creator knew exactly who he had in mind for Vanya. The actress had never seen the comics before she was handed the script, but the pilot was a game changer for Ellen. Unlike her co-star Robert Sheehan, the actress felt the connection with her character right away. I was immediately interested in Vanya. She was mysterious, clearly struggling with a lot. I related to her. Not only that, Ellen was actually looking forward to exploring Vanya's pain. I just was like, this sounds fucking new and cool and great and like a really, truly a fantastic opportunity for an actor, like such a wonderful role to get to play. I feel very lucky. When interviewed by Pop Buzz, Paige revealed that if she wasn't playing Vanya, she would love to portray Diego's character in the series instead. Diego. Mm. I like Diego's character a lot. He's mysterious and he's um, a bit of a jerk. Comment below if you think Ellen could have easily snatched the role from David? Justin H. Min as Ben To keep the show's plot a secret, the showrunners gave Justin fake audition sides, scenes that had nothing to do with the actual series. The actor revealed he had no idea what he was doing during his audition. I did the best that I could. Then when I got the call from my agent, I was obviously so excited. But as soon as we stopped screaming, they said, We have no idea who you are still. Despite having the coolest powers on the show, Justin received the least screen time. Yet that was not the case when filming. The actor probably spent as much time on set as his co-stars. Want to know why? Min explained how filmmaking works, saying, It was hilarious because every scene that I was in, we had to shoot multiple times. When I was in it, and then we'd shoot it without me. I don't know what's funnier, Justin's audition or the fact that every time they filmed a scene, not a single cast member could even make eye contact with Justin except for his on-screen brother, Klaus. Justin admitted that multiple takes had to be reshot because somebody would accidentally look or refer to him during a conversation. Let's be honest, we need more Ben in the series. And hopefully in the new season, the actor will get a big part of the screen. 
Now, straight to the best part of the video, our giveaway. Hop on and join the Umbrella Academy squad back in the 60s with this vintage Polaroid camera that will make your Insta feed pop. And that's not all we have for you. There are two more gifts, soft and comfy Umbrella Academy hoodies for true fans. You can win the prize super easily. Here is how. First, subscribe to our channel, The Catcher, on YouTube. Second, leave a comment below this video answering one simple question. If you were a casting director, who would you pick for the roles in the Umbrella Academy? Time to name your iconic celebrity cast of the Umbrella Academy. The most impressive and creative suggestions for the roles will be chosen by us, and two more winners will be generated randomly. But make sure that your YouTube channel subscriptions are set to public. Otherwise, we cannot check if you are subscribed. Only 18 plus are eligible to take part. But no worries, the giveaway is international. Giveaway closes on August 2nd, 2020, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will announce the results under this video in our community post and will tag you in response to your comment. All you have to do to be eligible for the contest is 1. Subscribe to us on YouTube and 2. Comment below your dream celebrity cast of the Umbrella Academy. As Vanya says, if you believe in yourself just once, great things are going to happen for you. So you might want to give it a go. Also, we will approve only one comment from each user. No doubles, no cheating. We'll check those. Thanks for watching.